The smoke is starting to come out as the San Francisco 49ers get ready for their first first round draft pick since 2021. And Matt Mayoko keeps hinting at wide receiver. Now, this is an interesting scenario because we all saw what happened uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, like clockwork on Monday, we had Peter Schrager drop a wide receiver for the first time uh, to the 49ers at 31, and it was Ladd McConkey. And we also saw Matt Barrows and uh, Matt Mayoko reference that this could be uh, who the 49ers are targeting at pick 31. So since then, it has just been ongoing. We saw Daniel Jeremiah come out, and he had the 49ers taking Xavier Worthy at pick 31. Right now, all the mocks that are like the final mock drafts by all these NFL experts have the 49ers taking a wide receiver at pick 31, which is interesting considering all the drama that has been circulating around Brandon Ayuk. But let's take a little bit further of a look into what Matt Mayoko is specifically talking about. The longtime NFL scout told NBC Sports Bay Area on Thursday, but there's a lot of depth in the receiving crop in this draft. You can get a good receiver in the third, fourth, and fifth round who can come in and play. The scout told Matt Mayoko that he does believe there's a reasonable chance that the 49ers take a wide receiver at pick. 31. So again, lots of propaganda for wide receiver at 31 ahead of the draft for the San Francisco 49ers. And the name that keeps getting thrown out is Ladd McConkey. Uh, he's a really good wide receiver. Uh, some consider a slot guy, uh, but he is a crafty, uh, just he's a really good wide receiver uh, and is, I would say, worthy of being selected in the bottom of the first uh, the scout says he fits perfectly with Shanahan. He's not an outside guy. He's an inside guy. So slot wide receiver, but that's fine. The base offense around the NFL is a three wide receiver set, which is not what the 49ers run. May I add to uh, what is being said here? Um, so your third guy is playing 75% of the snaps. Well, if you know anything about the San Francisco 49ers, that's not how they run. So that's interesting that he's applying what the rest of the NFL does to what the 49ers do, which isn't the same. He'll know the offense inside and out and will always be on the same page as the quarterback. Shanahan loves what he brings to the table. All right. Well, again, I that's great in referencing the rest of the league, but I think it's important when you're talking about a specific team, you reference what the team does. And the 49ers don't run a ton of three wide receiver sets. Uh, it's definitely not their base set, uh, even though the rest of the NFL does do all those things. Um, and I, obviously we've talked about Xavier Worthy being linked to them as well. Uh, so... Man, the the wide receiver propaganda, and this is another this is another kind of route to look at it. Is this could be maybe a way to indicate to Ayuk and his camp that we're we're moving on, like we're we're going to uh, draft your replacement. We have I don't know. It's an interesting signal to the league because this is the way that I look at it. And there, if there's anything that I've learned about, you know, Kyle Shanahan, John Lynch, they don't want to tip their hand at what they're going to do. Who would? Who would want to do that? So why? Why do so many people seem to know or feel like they know what the 49ers are going to do at 31? That's my that's my question back to this is why does everyone think they know? And it's why does everyone think it's wide receiver? Is that for a reason? Is that the narrative that they want out there? And why would they want that narrative out there? Why? Uh, what does it help benefit? Does it maybe build more leverage in a potential Brandon Ayuk trade? Uh, that the 49ers are like, look, look, we can find a wide receiver. We, we aren't going to take anything less for Brandon Ayuk because, look, we can just take a wide receiver at 31. We can find a wide receiver later in this draft. 
Malachi Corley, Xavier Leggett. We're fine. We're not budging on this to me feels like a a kind of coordinated effort that might be pointed at other NFL general managers uh, in regards to trying to get the max value for a potential Brandon Ayuk trade. Uh, because I wonder if in these conversations, uh, you know, general managers are like, you know, Brandon Ayuk is one of the most valuable players that you got on your offense right now. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't even know if that's a good way to rationalize why this would be. Uh, but nonetheless, I find it very interesting that for the last two weeks, um, since Brand, like since Brandon Ayuk unfollowed the San Francisco 49ers on a Friday, that following Monday is when all the wide receiver at 31 smoke just started pouring and pouring and pouring in. And it's still going ahead of the draft tonight so why is that why is this the narrative that's out there i don't i don't know why i don't i don't have a good reason why uh but i find it very fascinating i find it very interesting um are the 49ers really going to take a wide receiver at 31 uh to me that doesn't seem like the best uh i don't feel like wide receiver would be the best position available at pick 31 you might be able to get a cornerback that slides to you a defensive lineman that slides to you um that's of high quality uh but i don't know what do you make of all this smoke what do you make of all this literal smoke and mirrors with the 49ers wanting a wide receiver at 31 I don't know. You let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.